a lot of the restrictions have been lifted so let's hope that that will result in many more tourists for the rest of the year a good morning I just arrived at the camping pet MRT station because I want to visit the Chattuchak market and this station is right here in the middle of the market this is actually the best station if you want to go with the public transport towards the Chattuchak market yeah it's actually funny if you are in Bangkok if you want to go to the Chattuchak market you should not take the Chattuchak MRT station but take Kampeng Pet and it's actually the same with the Lumpini Park don't take the Lumpini exit take the Silom station it's Saturday morning, almost 11 o'clock. Let's see if there's anything to do here. The weather is actually quite beautiful. It's uh, a bit cloudy. It's not too hot yet. Yeah, so you really notice that there are a lot more tourists in Bangkok. I noticed it last night when I uh, had a walk through Sukhumvit Soy 11. This is a good place if you want to try some Thai food. Thank you. Let's have a look inside here. Even though the market already opened in 1942, this clock tower only opened in 1987. And 1987 is also when it got the official name, the Chattuchak Market. And before that, it was the Pahong Yortin Market based on the road that it's on here. So one of the things that I wanted to check was to see if uh, the Paella place is open. So even though the Paella man is not here, the Paella is here. And it looks awesome. So how is the paella? Is it good? It's alright. Oh! <laughs> it's, all, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in. <laughs> Enjoy your holiday, yeah? Where are you from, by the way? Singapore. From Singapore? Yes. Ah, okay. We've been to Singapore the last time, like, five, six years ago. You know, traveling is not that easy anymore, right? So enjoy your uh, stay. See ya. Food is not only inside the Chattachak market, also here outside on the streets. There are different places where you can, uh, can go for a lunch. And this is across the street from the market. So if the regular market gets a bit too hot, you can also go and have a look here at the mixed chatu chak. And this is like an indoor, little bit of a mall. Thank you. Yeah, but of course this does not have the same atmosphere as the chatu chak market.
normally the Chatu Chak market has about 15,000 shops and with that it's the largest market in the world but at the moment a lot of shops are, uh, are closed but anyway it's good to see that tourism is back there are a lot more people now especially foreigners and uh, it's not as busy as it used to be but it's uh, way more people than about six months ago a lot of the restrictions have been lifted so let's hope that uh, that will result in many more tourists for the rest of the year so if you're asking me is it worthwhile visiting the Chattachak at the moment I would say yes definitely uh, especially if you're looking for souvenirs and stuff that you want to bring home then uh, come and have a look here it's definitely a lot more busy than it used to be in the past year and I think it's only gonna get bigger I'm almost here at the BTS station I'm gonna take the BTS back home and in the beginning of the movie I showed you how to get here with the MRT to the Kampang Pet station but uh, with the BTS if you are staying along the BTS line then obviously this is a lot easier so I hope you enjoyed this update regarding the Chatter Chuck Market. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...